Hello, this is 8-Bit Rach and welcome to another Amstrad game review. I'm going to have a go today on Twin World and this was a suggestion by Pete Walker on YouTube. Now, this is a fairly late game, um, sort of 1990. Let's start it off by Ubisoft. And we first saw this game on Yellow Belly's live stream. And I've got to be honest, I didn't like it. Everyone else seemed to, but I thought, oh no, I don't like it. So let's get that started. Um, yeah, so Pete sort of said, why don't you review it then? And I thought, oh, okay. But I just I didn't like the look of it. So I agreed to do it. I set it up and I've had a little go, you know, just to test it. Do you know what? It's brilliant. I love this game now. I, I just didn't like the look of it. It looked very orange. And there just seemed to be... I don't know. It didn't appeal to me. And I don't know why, because there are other games that are bright orange. Um... You know, and the one that comes to mind actually is, um, oh, the name escapes me now. Uh, Bleed Nails, it called. Oh, Sol Negro, that's it. That was very orange, but I liked the look of that. But this, like I said, just didn't appeal. But, um, yeah, like I said, I agreed to give it a go. And, oh shit, really enjoyed it. It plays really well. You know, the controls are dead smooth and everything. The responsive. The only thing with the actual colours is, I think it's quite hard to see things sometimes against this background. Like some of the objects and there are places where the floor drops away and you have to jump over a gap and you can't always see it until you fall through it. I do like this idea though of going, you know, between the different levels. <coughs> so we'll go in here, you need the key for that. You have to collect these little jewels to boost your score. But even then, with the green, it's not terribly clear, is it? When you lose a life, you enter the screen at the point... Sorry, you, it scrolls back to the point that you entered the screen, if that makes sense. So you'll end up Usually at the last cave door. Ah, oh, shit. That you went through. I was dead then. There we go. I do like the jump mechanic on it, though. You know, once when you jump in the air, you can still manoeuvre. You're not sort of committed once you've left the ground. Scrolls really well. Ah, oh, you just fucking stepped right off that then, you moron. I'm going cautiously because there's something dead horrible along here. Not that thing. Oh, okay, it's not there. It's usually a thing that fires at you. So I don't know what's happened to that. I must have. 
accidentally killed it. Now that door at the top there, that's actually the exit off the level. Um, let's go back this way and see if there's anything I'm missing. Oh shit. Okay, that's obviously too big a jump to make. Eee. Right, quick, jump, jump, jump. See, now this bit here, you have to jump over this, and it looks very much the same as the rest of the floor. Ooh, there we go. See what I mean? It's, it's not very clear, and that's... I suppose it's a small niggle, but I suppose it's going to be very frustrating if you're heading towards the end of a level and you end up losing the game. In this game, you don't sort of get lives as such. Um, you sort of lose health, which you can replenish, but I think it's the replenishments are few and far between, really. So we're on level two. Now I do believe that there are you know the backgrounds change every I think sort of five levels if that makes sense. There are different worlds is what I'm trying to say. I think you've got like Oh shit. See, I'm forgetting to talk now because I'm concentrating, so that's always a good sign, I think. So now we'll have to go all the way back because this was the last cave that I went into. So that's a bit of a pain. See, I have got like an extra jump with that springy thing. I'm trying to be careful, I don't want to waste it. Could also do with a bit of help. Right, so, there we go. Oh, shite, I didn't even friggin' see that thing. Bollocks! And this is what I mean, it's quite difficult sometimes to sort of see, you know, the enemies are... Can I jump over that way? Hmm. I'll give it a go. No, you can't go that way. Okay. Oh, God, and I've gone and used the last of that friggin' spring now, haven't I? I don't know what that is, what he does. Bollocks. What am I supposed to do? Good now, I don't know what to bloody do. Oh, of course, yeah, you can use... I'm an idiot, ignore me. You can obviously use the caves to move around. You 
See that tiny little green bottle there? But you can hardly make it out, can you? It's not very clear at all. Oh, bugger, I went to duck down then and it wouldn't duck. That's a pain. So I've got to the second level. It is quite a tricky game, but I, I do enjoy it and I will play this beyond this review, I think, because I kind of want to see what the other scenery looks like on the different levels. Um, it moves really well. The controls are good. It scrolls well. I think it's just that right level of difficulty as well. I don't think it's ridiculously hard. I think it's just me that's a bit careless with it. Having said that, like I said, some of the enemies are difficult to see. Um, and once you've kind of committed to jumping onto a ledge, it can be quite hard to avoid them. It's not always easy to control you know, when you're throwing the rocks at them, it can be quite easy to sort of time it right. It can be quite hard, I mean, sorry, to time it right. Um, also, a minor fault, if you like, is where it scrolls back and takes you back to the point of entry on the screen. It's, I mean, it's not a massive inconvenience. It's not like it takes you back to the start. But also, I kind of don't really see the point in it. Um, yeah. It's... I would rather it just sort of, you know, you lost a life and carried on from where you... You know, even at the, the beginning of that screen or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, do you know what? I really do like it. So, thanks, Pete, for pointing that out. Because, do you know what? Like I said, I didn't like this game on Yellow Belly's stream and I would never have picked this game up. I wouldn't have been bothered if I'd never seen it again. But I actually really enjoyed it and I will give it a go. And I want to finish it and see what's next on it. So, thanks for the recommendation, Pete. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Take care of yourselves. Ciao now.